Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. Today I got a nice little goodie in the mail from Avatars of War. That is their new wish Marauder Warlord. Now he may not be the most recent release, but he is quite the looker nonetheless. Gives me a very easy and dark lands, Chaos Warrior vibe there, Chaos Marauder. I just dig the antlers, Circle Oberos type guy. So here's the first thing that was really interesting to me, is it's resin. I don't think I've had an official resin release from Avatars of War. I know they did some early stuff in resin, but this is a bit of a surprise. Second interesting thing is we have both types of bases available out of the package. Now, I know they've done that a couple of times in the past, but it is just a nice practice for their models, especially, you know, obviously a company like this their figures are going to get used for a variety of purposes, so it is a nice gesture to have both types included. So my first thought was maybe it's like that rustic plastic they were using, but no, it feels it feels like resin. It's pretty sturdy. It's like I'm trying to trip it away or something, but the detail the detail looks really solid. Need to sniff it later. <laughs> I gotta smell it and see for sure. I mean, maybe it is that rustic stuff, but if it is, it's really nicely cast. How often does that happen? You can just insert the part directly, no fuss or anything. Wow. I am surprised. Hmm. And then it looks like the head is actually on a ball joint. That's a nice touch. Well, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. I haven't bought any Avatars of War stuff in a while. I got a big lucky haul ages ago. Somebody was clearing out their collection, and I had just about the first 20 or so releases all in one go. And I painted my way through them all, and... I don't know how many of them I actually own anymore. I know I give a bunch away as well, but those are all in metal. So, I mean, look at this. There's there's no flash or anything. I'm going to smell it. No, it definitely smells like resin. <laughs> okay, it's it's definitely not any kind of rustic. It smells like Darklands resin. That's kind of sad. So if you've ever built any of Mirsa stuff, you should be aware of how their resin smells. I like it. I mean, I'm not going to go, you know, sniffing models up, but it definitely is a super, super sharp cast. I mean, look, there's literally no mold lines or anything. There's just nothing. The connection points are super sharp, especially when they stay in focus. I got no complaints. I mean, honestly, wow, this is pretty impressive. I'm actually kind of curious to see if they're going to use this material and actually go through some of their back catalog and recast it. I mean, you can see the individual stitching there on his helmet, if I can keep it in focus there. I am I am duly impressed. Okay, so, honestly, I'm going to have to go get him glued together, and I'll grab what other Avatars of War stuff I should have laying around still. Whatever that may be, and we'll see how they stack up. Okay, we got our Warlord Barbarian guy all put together here. I gotta say, I am really impressed. Now, I didn't actually glue on the shield yet, and that fit is so nice and snug. I uh, don't even need to bother, and it's going to make things a lot easier for painting. But really, this dude has presence. Very well sculpted. I'm liking the resin. I have him on a 30 millimeter base. It's a conquest base, but I don't know what I'm going to base him on yet exactly. Um, I don't even know where I put the bases he came with now. I don't know what I did with most of my other avatars of war models. I do have this guy Prime, one of their Chaos Champions. Really like that one. And I know I have quite a few other ones that I've painted and still should be in my possession. I do have one of their Lizardmen. This thing is absolutely massive. He's on a 40 millimeter base. Uh, another one of my favorites, and I've had him for quite a few years now, and he's seen some action, definitely on the tabletop. But I think with the style that this guy's got going on, I could really see him fitting in with a whole lot of different ranges, and he'd look nice doing it. Now, my first thought with those crazy antlers is Easyans from Mears, uh, without a doubt. I, I think he would look right 
up their alley. Uh, I know I have, oh, what's that guy's Garth, Garth Akur now. I gotta get him set up. I'll show you guys. I'll put him in there when I get him finished up. Uh, but definitely, I think he would look great with the Easyans if you were gonna go that route, using them for whatever you do. Grabbing my Artisan Guild Barbarian Lady. Uh, I think she'd look great with all sorts of various barbarians. Uh, let's see here. Where'd I put my Manta guy? Thought I had one of the Northkin, but I think with the Untamed Beasts as well. I think just that style that they've got going on with all the antlers, the animal parts, I think he's going to really be able to fit in great with a whole lot of different ranges. So very, very nice looking figure from Avatars of War. And I know they've been pretty aggressive with their marketing in the holiday season this past year. Uh, and they've also had quite a few new figures coming out. I, I've been trying to keep up with it. Um, it's just hard to get their stuff with the current pandemic and with all of the craziness with the mail. It seems that their newer models have been slowly trickling into the states. I did manage to get this guy from a state side seller. So there is hope. And I would just keep your eyes peeled on your various places that you can find this stuff online. And hopefully we will see more interesting and exciting models like this from Avatars of War in the future. I'm hoping personally that they go back and try doing a couple more infantry kits. I would love to see some of this style, you know, fit great with like the other, what they call the, the Blood Tribes from uh, Raging Heroes. I think there's just a lot of marketability and usage for barbarians like this. So, that said, we'll put a link down below to Avatars of War's website so you can check out their latest and greatest for yourselves. And I will bid you all a fond farewell. This has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching, and we will see you back here soon. Bye bye.